हेलो दोस्तों वेलकम टू कॉलेज दुनिया स्टडी ब्रॉड चैनल आज हमारे साथ हैं फनींद्र गुप्ता जो है मास्टर्स इन इंफॉर्मेशन टेक के स्टूडेंट एट यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ सिंसिनाटी आज हम उनसे बहुत सारी बातें करने वाले हैं और डिस्कस करेंगे उनकी जर्नी फ्रॉम द सिटी ऑफ ड्रीम्स हैदराबाद टू द को ऑफ कैपिटल ऑफ द वर्ल्ड यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ सिंसिनाटी तो चलिए इंतजार किस बात का लेट्स डाइव राइट इन टू दिस एक्साइटिंग जर्नी स्टार्ट करने से पहले इफ यू हैव स्टडी ब्रॉड ड्रीम रीच आउट टू कॉलेज दुनिया डॉट कॉम आपको मिलेगा 50% परसेंट ऑफ ऑन वीजा एंड एप्लीकेशन फी गेट फ्री काउंसलिंग एंड कॉलेज शॉर्टलिस्ट इफ यू लाइक द वीडियो डोंट फॉर गेट टू हिट द लाइक बटन एंड सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल लेट्स बिगिन फनींद्र टेल आव यूर्स अ लिटिल बिट अबाउट योर बैकग्राउंड यस सो हेलो दिस इज फानिंद्र गुप्ता एंड I have been born and brought up in Hyderabad, in Alwal Kompalli, north side of Hyderabad, so oh, bachpan se. And I've done my schooling from a uh, local place here called Kotwal's High School. And then uh, I managed to get a seat in Chaitanya Bharti Institute of Technology, which is kind of like a Taiwan college in Telangana. And I've done my undergrad from, uh, in chemical engineering, being my major. Or वहाँ से I started uh, getting more interest towards it and then triple it hyderabad mein maine ek crash course kiya which is basically like a preparatory course that uh, allows people from different or uh, diverse backgrounds to uh, you know step into the it sector and uh, now i'm pursuing my masters from university of cincinnati in the information technology field so uh, family ke bare mein aaye to my mother is an advocate and uh, my dad uh, he's a ce chartered accountant all right fanind kuch apne scores ke bare mein batao uh, how much right. you scored in your graduation yes yes uh, so my undergrad gpa i scored a 3.84 out of 4 on a four scale और क्योंकि uh, मेरा स्कोर 3.5 से अबाउ था माय यूनिवर्सिटी डिड नॉट रिक्वायर एनी जी फ्रॉम यू ऑफ माय एंड हावेवर वी ऑल नो कि इंग्लिश का तो मैंडेटरी चलता है तो आई हैव टेकन टोफिल एज माय इंग्लिश एग्जाम एंड आई स्कोर हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेल्व आउट ऑफ वन ट्वेंटी ग्रेट सो दैट्स अ रियली गुड स्कोर फॉर इंद्र सो लेट्स go next why did you choose the university of cincinnati and masters of it all right so uh, first let's talk about why it uh, basic question like basic answer sabka shayad yahi hai ki yes. it is a booming uh, thing and uh, also during my undergrad i did my projects uh, which were kind of related to artificial intelligence and it like one of my project was uh, utilization and applications of ai in chemical engineering All right. So uh, when I did a little bit of background research about that, uh, the subject got my interest. Ki kithe achhe sare se tarikhe se we can use, you know, uh, the IT subject for various fields. So the diversity was the thing that actually caught my attention. Okay. Uh, and uh, why University of Cincinnati? Uh, the basic criteria for me while I was shortlisting the universities was colleges which will, uh, you know, allow people from diverse backgrounds to do a masters in IT. Instead of just people from, uh, you know, electronics and communication or computer science. All right, background. all right. So, I would be asking more questions around your scores, and I will be coming back to the to the diversity part later, right? So, uh, you said uh, you scored above three GPA, which means uh, the GRE score, right? GRE is exempted for anyone who is scoring above three GPA, right? Yes. Uh, so based on the new rules uh, from fall 2020, COVID ke baad mein, uh, Cincinnati has waived a uh, requirement of GRE if you score above three GPA. Okay. And if anyone is required to give GRE, how much score is needed? Uh, it should range somewhere between 310 to 320. But uh, at the end of the day, it depends on the strength of other aspects of their performance. All right. Are there any student in your class who have given GRE and how much they have scored? Yes, uh, I have a close friend of mine with around uh, two years of ex- work experience as well. All right. And uh, they scored a three hundred and fourteen. Okay. So. Okay. So, coming back to your application part, how many other uh, universities uh, did you apply? Oh, I applied to a total of four universities. All right, and and how in how many of them you got accept and how many of them you got reject? Well, uh, I received the acceptance from three universities, and uh, since I I knew I didn't had a shot, but QP, uh, we are humans, 
I also mm-hmm. applied to a Ivy League university, which was an obvious result. Okay, can you name all these universities? Uh, yes. Uh, so uh, Penn State University uh, was one amongst them, uh, from which right. I received the result. Okay. And uh, coming to the acceptance part, I received an acceptance from University of Cincinnati, uh, right. University of uh, Michigan, all and right. uh, also University of South Dakota. All right. So, and could you share some pros and cons? of a masters of it at university of cincinnati okay uh, so let's talk about pros first uh, the as i've stated this before as well uh, our class is extremely diverse you have people okay. from nursing background you have people from management background you can see people from all different sorts of things so uh, that's one thing uh, so networking becomes easy and uh, you get to see different perspectives of the same thing uh, by meeting these people so that's a right. definite pro and uh, con yes uh, 90% of the students in class are indians so if you want to go meet americans in your class so that's not really a so uh, i would be coming to the diversity factor how many indians are studying in your class uh, there are around 90% students so uh, who are indians now okay class. okay cool so what is the eligibility criteria other than the GRE and uh, the GPA we talked about? Any other factor which affects the admission in your college and the course particularly? Uh, yes, uh, so other than GRE and GPA, uh, one major uh, factor other than these that affect is uh, how well are you aware with the programming languages? At least uh, the basic sanitary. So Achha. since we are doing it in IT, at least Java, Python, mm-hmm. Java, एक लैंग्वेज का बेसिक्स तो आना चाहिए इसको टेस्ट कैसे करते हैं हाउ डू दे टेस्ट इट कि ओके यू नो द प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज सो इट डिपेंड्स आइदर यू नीड टू हैव अ जेन्युइनली सर्टिफाइड कंपनी और यू नो जो भी सर्टिफिकेशन एग्जाम हम लोग लिखते हैं या फिर एनपीटीएल एग्जाम से लिखते हैं वो या यू शुड हैव इट इन योर college transcripts as a subject okay so is it particular about any uh, language um, or it can be anything c c++ c sharp anything it could be anything uh, they are not really particular they just want you to be aware of how things work in the program okay okay all right so how much was the application fees uh, application fees uh, or any other cost which have incurred during the application please let us know and if please mention if you have got any waiver anywhere the application fees for university of cincinnati was around 70 dollars and uh, yes there is a waiver uh, provided you score above 90% in your undergrad or All about right. 6.3.75 uh, in your uh, out of four so uh, funny when does the application process start and what are the deadlines of the application all right so if you're talking about the fall term application uh, the application procedure starts somewhere from uh, the november of previous year and there right. are two dif- uh, two different deadlines uh, the first application de- deadline is in the second week of january and the final hard deadline is in the first week of february somewhere around 3rd or 4th of february right. So, how is the acceptance rate of the master's program? Uh, if I just talk about how many rejections uh, people get? Uh, if it is IT, uh, I think I can say it's somewhere around sixty-five to seventy percent of acceptance. This is the acceptance rate, right? Yes. All right. So, uh, can you share some rewarding aspects of the program that you experienced so far? Yes. Uh, so, one thing that really caught my attention was how good the cooperative education is at the University of Cincinnati. In fact, uh, it has been awarded the number one in you in know, United States of America for co-op education. Yes, so yes. I have started uh, experiencing it, and uh, yeah, that's one of the great things that I've seen. So we started uh, our interview with the with calling University of Cincinnati as the co-op capital of the world, right? Yes. So how you will justify this? Right. Uh, so uh, let me give a small example. We have a uh, you know course specifically tailored for each different master specialization so if we talk about us the course is called professional development for information technology so uh, this particular course ye kya karta hai it doesn't just uh, you know help you build your resume like the career studios but right. it lets you network directly with the uh, leaders in the world and you know 
all the companies that are looking mm-hmm. forward to uh, taking you a different world so right. isse kya hota hai the exposure is really good okay so when you say networking so how do you network like over linkedin or something the college is like empowering some channel for for you guys okay so uh, there is this interesting sessions that happen every week where we also get to meet uh, people face to face they right. come they interact with us live and they give us you know seminar sessions ke jaise all right so uh, that's one of the ways that we network all right so uh, i just come to the city now to cincinnati is a thriving city for arts and culture right so it is known for like best in both the worlds so uh, how the city like how is the uh, living culture over there all right so university ke paas baat kare to you have around two or three colonies or you know uh, avenues which is full of indian people so you feel extremely home and uh, right. just on that the other side of university is in complete american culture so on a personal level also it's a best of both worlds you experience both indian and american culture at the same time yes so people who like to do certain activities like it could be anything uh, going for a music concert or anything right. you have no day left in an uh, entire year where there's event that is not going on uh, downtown all right so uh... just uh, asking more about the city what about the cost part how much you are spending every month and uh, what is the room cost and everything okay so pehle to hum logon ka rent ho gaya rent is around 250 to 300 dollars per month and then uh, the groceries is our personal choice but uh, utna inflation bhi nahi hai i would say 100 dollars should be more than enough including all the groceries and vegetables all right and uh, at max 150 so ye 450 mm. ho gaya and all then the right. uh, so college provides free transportation to a lot of parts from university so right. you hardly need to pay for transportation any yes so any tips for the affordable apartments in your city yes uh, so actually town houses are uh, not uh, i mean abhi abhi thoda jo log prefer kar rahe hai but usually people try to find an apartment but uh, okay. there are great town houses around university which are more cost effective and are more spacious and uh, you know uh, more mm-hmm. well equipped that's one okay. thing to look out for so can you be uh, can you be a little bit specific about the cost part okay. so oh. uh, let's say if we take a, a 1 bhk uh, apartment and what how much you are paying for that nearby the okay. university so uh, if you talk about a uh, one bed apartment one bed one bath anywhere where the university shuttle has um, reached to it will range from 950 dollars to 1100 dollars right. depending on uh, which uh, side of the university are you find this so uh, can you just uh, go deeper up around uh, the diversity of the, of your class Uh, how many people are from which age background and the demography all right uh, so let's talk about the age groups first so if we take a sample of uh, 10 people i would say there are around uh, two people with more than 4 years of work experience all right then there are around 3 uh, to 4 people who have like around 2 years of work experience but more than 50% of the uh, population are either fresh graduates or it's just been an year for them all right so describe your campus life in just three words happening all uh, right and i can't stress this word diverse okay and uh, the third thing that i would probably say is uh, it's actually full of everything you ask for it you get it in the university great i think we can have an another interview on diversity part of university of cincinnati all right so uh, any clubs uh, any speci- uh, any specialized clubs uh, for your course or which you like which, which you can uh, worth mentioning yes uh, so there is something called as uh, information technology solution center or in short form it's itsc so right. uh, itsc is specific to uh, the Uh, information technology people put undergrad line graduate and right. uh, it has something uh, which is very interesting that is they offer you uh, on campus part times and internships All which right. are related to your course okay so have you explored on campus and off campus jobs it related jobs off campus no on campus yes uh, i am a graduate i am undergraduate uh, teaching assistant all right so what are the rules around uh, doing 
on campus job obviously and also the off campus job okay so uh, legally uh, of course uh, since we are on f1 visa we are not supposed to do any off campus job talking about on campus jobs uh, we can do a maximum of around 20 hours uh, which is like the maximum limit per week which is and right. uh, the week is calculated from sunday to saturday all right Yes. Uh, cool. So, talking so, about the pay. Yes, yeah. please go ahead. Go ahead. So, talking about the pay, the base pay, or uh, anywhere around on campus, starts from ten point five dollars, but okay. it goes up to as high as eighteen hours, eighteen dollars per hour. So, can you share some personal experiences around uh, getting the jobs? Or uh, what kind of professors? What kind of uh, roles you are going to get on the campus? Right. Uh, so, majorly, uh, we can. on campus jobs into three different sections one would be our educational sector which could be our graduate assistants teaching assistants etc so in right. ke liye uh, we just have to reach out to professors we just have to you know look up about them on linkedin find about them in our college website or jo bhi professor ka work ya research aap apne life se zyada connect kar sakte ho ya apne interest se zyada connect kar sakte ho You can just reach out to them, asking for opportunities, and you know, or uh, sharing your resume and stuff. So that's what I did. How many of the students in your class have got the job on campus? Um, in my class, I would say fifty percent. Fifty percent. And what about the rest fifty percent? What they are doing? Well, I'm not sure <laughs> because uh, the uh, the cl- class crowd in IT is actually a little huge. It's somewhere around two hundred plus. So oh, right. it's not really easy to connect with everyone that. Cool. Any idea anything you want to just say about them in how they are earning if whether, whether if they are not they are they are or they are not. Oh, uh, well, I'm not really sure. I think everyone has their links. Have their links. All right. Yes. All right. So funny uh you have been uh, a student in India you have done your BTech and now you are doing MS. So, how do you compare your faculty? Okay, so uh, the teaching styles are definitely uh, different here. One major difference that I would like to mention to everyone out there is, जैसे हमारे पास इंडिया में you have a structured methodology कि अभी suppose bachelor's लो तो दो chapter हो गए एक midterm exam आ गया फिर सारे chapters के external exam आ गया so there is nothing like that over here and it's completely okay. uh, based on the preference of the professor. तो right. यहाँ पे क्या होता है हर सब्जेक्ट का अलग तरीका होता है जैसे hmm. मानो इफ वन ऑफ माय प्रोफेसर वांट्स टू गिव अ लॉट ऑफ क्विजेस सो वी हैव क्विज ऑन द टॉपिक्स दैट हैव बीन टॉट इन अ वीक एंड दे हैव ऑल क्यूमुलेटिव स्कोर टुवर्ड्स द एंड एंड देन देयर इज अनदर प्रोफेसर हु जस्ट लाइक्स टू हैव बाय वीकली टेस्ट व्हिच कुड बी इन एनी फॉर्म आइदर अ प्रोजेक्ट और अ लैब और एन असाइनमेंट तो यहां पे यू डोंट रियली हैव अ स्ट्रक्चर्ड मेथड Okay, so just to ask, how many hours you do you study? कितने पढ़ा को हो तुम? मैं I study for like four hours a day. Four hours a day. Okay, yes. great. So uh, is it enough? Yes, it, it totally depends on like you know. अभी uh, if you talk about masters in specific, I think सारा कुछ क्लास में ही हो जाता है and uh, you barely have exams because it's more of assignment based work. Or right. uh, assignment, but you can work. But if you want to learn other things before your masters, you know, specifically for the jobs and career part, then you have to spend more time. So, कितना tough है मतलब मैं I'm asking about an average student who is like an average student in India and he got into your course. कितना tough है उसके लिए? Oh, uh, it's not really tough for him to get through the course. Uh, it's actually uh, quite easy compared to our Indian bachelors, because our okay. jo ya ka methodology hai, it's broken down into these assignments in small parts. Mm-hmm. It's more easy to you know explore and understand the concept while doing it. All right. So, kuch any specializations uh, you have in your course? Um, any research options you have? Yes. So ha- our course is divided into two parts. You can either take a thesis or a research based thing yeah pe you don't need to uh, like you can opt out of one elective for uske baad mein aap research kar sakte ho all right okay so uh, any uh, tech events matlab i would be talking more about in the terms of campus life and all so any tech events you can mention uh, or because you are from it background you are doing an it course 
so you can mention any and what is the life uh, what how is like feel at those events right uh, so one of the major events that happen uh, around the university are uh, technical fa- career fairs so uh, that's one of the major tech events that happen specifically for master students and wo uh, like it happens twice every year uh, where oh, you get to meet recruiters from around the right. different companies All and right. understand the requirements kitne students hote hain aise aise events mein और कितने रिक्रूटर्स होते हैं ऐसे इवेंट्स में इट वेरीज क्योंकि हर साल क्या होता है एक इवेंट सिर्फ स्पेसिफिक स्पेशलाइजेशन पर होता है हम तो अभी आई टी का है तो देर इज एन आई टी के फेयर वेर देर आर मोर देन फिफ्टी टू हंड्रेड रिक्रूटर्स हु कम अराउंड हमारे जैसे तो डेफिनेटली नहीं रहेगा वी डोंट है रिक्रूटर अंडरस्टैंड एंड शेड्यूल इंटरव्यू आउट साइड ऑफ Yes, the support that we get is uh, in form of networking. बहुत सारे लोगों को मिलने का मौका choice मिलता है. All right. So, uh, how many recruiters uh, come in those uh, tech fairs? If I, if can, if we can ask. Oh, uh, so uh, if as I told, if it is uh, specialization specific, this is if IT some do, so it will be around fifty to hundred. अगर right. if it's a broader umbrella like engineering and tech, yeah, CS, IT मिला के and something like that. जॉब So the alumni groups are actually really strong around uh, Cincinnati University. So All we right. also have uh, events that are uh, conducted by the alumni groups where they come and speak mm. to us regarding the changes in the current industry. All right. So coming to your cost part again, uh, how is the fees? What is the fees of your program? Uh, yes. So uh, the fees is uh, it's divided semester wise. So uh, approximately it will be somewhere around uh, thirty-five to forty thousand dollars. But okay. it majorly depends on कि आप कित एक सेम में कितने सब्जेक्ट्स ले. Okay. Have you taken any education loan for this? Uh, well, yes. Uh, very good. Okay. okay. From which? See, from which I bank? I have taken an. Uh, loan or uh, yes i have uh, secured a loan from hdfc credilla bank so okay i have taken a loan of 40 lakh rupees and what is the interest rate they have offered to you i am sorry i am asking all this on camera uh, but it, no no it's fine uh, so actually initially the interest rate was promised to be uh, 10.75 but uh, right. every ek do mahine mein they send you a mail saying that the interest rate has jumped up by 0.25% स्कॉलरशिपरशिपरशिपरशिपरशिपरशिपरशिपरशिपरशिपरशिपरशिपरशिपरशिपरशिपरशिपरशिपरशिपरशिपरशिपरशिपरशिपरशिपरशिपरश
but each of them has uh, most of their requirements in forms of an exam that is supposed to be taken in order right. to receive the scholarship any names worth mentioning oh uh, well actually i don't remember it so i okay any agency name anything you want uh, you, you, you can mention it, it it's really important for our users so uh, itsc as i've stated before the one that offers internships also right. offers scholarships to students uh, specifically right. in itsc okay all right so uh, finally in one sentence can you sum up the overall experience uh, i know uh, there are, there, are, there are many questions which can be asked so i just want uh, you to be a bit critical about your college and uh, just give a one or two lines to the prospective students yes so to sum it up uh, in terms of college life or university life i'm sure you're going to have a great life over here you'll have the best time of your life but uh, remember that if you're coming to university of cincinnati to enhance your career it it lies in your own hands if you solely depend on what is being taught in classes and the assignments that are being given then uh, it will hardly push you by 10% the remaining 90% has to be done by yourself that is something that you should keep in your mind before coming to this university okay thank you fanind for sharing us your journey thank you for uh, being part of college dunya uh, study broad channel uh, thank you thank you thank you so much it was a great experience for me as same here this was everything about fanind's story from hyderabad to university of cincinnati don't forget to subscribe our channel and comment your queries below see you in the next video